Hi everyone, my name is Abel Greek and Toma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number, you can call me on any of these numbers. Okay, today I'm going to be taking you through uh, your slab opening, your drop, and also uh, how to set slab types automatically on prota in your prota structure. Okay. Uh, let's jump right into it now you can see here we have we have panels here uh, let's say I want to create an opening on any of this panel all I need to do is to click on slab opening slash drop uh, I can type in the dimension of that particular opening or let me say this opening is two meters by one five for example now all I need to do is to pick a reference point uh, as you can see at the left bottom corner of your screen it's going to show you pick the reference point of the slab hole so if I pick here as my reference point all I need to do is to hold on control F2 and then I can type where I want to place this in the position of let's say 1200 by 2 1200 let's say I want it to be in this position okay now you can see it has been positioned here for me now it depends on whatever you are giving in the architectural drawing based on what you have in the architecture is what will determine where you position your opening okay so the same thing as to your drop all you need to do is the same thing all you need to do is to click on slab opening slash drop in this case you just go to, going to check on your drop once you check on drop you can pick anywhere as your reference point hold on control f2 type in where you want to position this uh, let's say i want to position it at 1300 by uh, f2 1300 by 1400 for example sorry I'm picking it at the wrong I pick here F2 1 3 by 1004 sorry I'm supposed to check on my drop um, if you don't check in check on your drop it's going to give you an opening okay uh, one two by one three okay Here's my reference to one two by one thousand one hundred or one thousand hundred maybe from this lab. What is wrong? <laughs> I'm forgetting to make this a drop. Slab drop one the thickness uh the size of this drop let's say two thousand by one five and then I'll pick here as my reference then F2 to specify the position uh, 1300 by one four or one five let's see one five uh, invalid draw value for this lab sorry <laughs> I'm very sorry I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible you have to specify the, the depth of your drop okay so uh, let's say the depth of this drop is 50 uh, I'll pick a reference point F to 13 by 
by 1250 for example just specify whatever you want to specify it will generate definitely give you that drop but you can see what i have here is giving me is adding to the thickness of this slab okay because um this is positive 50 okay let's now make it a negative 50 uh here i'll put in minus by the side and then the same thing i did there is what i'm going to do here um and then f2 1300 by 1100 okay so i'm just typing in those values now you can see it has actually generated our drop here here in the other case here it has actually added the thickness of the slab around this area okay so um here as you can see i have shown you how to create a drop i've also shown you how to create an opening uh here in the same way you can switch this to a circular um, opening all you need to do is pick the the uh, reference point specify your positions uh, I want it to be positioned at this no yeah fine so uh, I specified 1300 I think then the other one is 1000 the other one is 2000 so if you measure from here to here measure from here to here okay because you are picking this point as your reference point so it's going to take the distance from here to here the distance from here now to the cycle here okay so that is exactly how to achieve your opening and your drop in the same way you can do that for your poly line okay um, if you don't want if you want to create a poly line okay um for your poly line your a is for arc your l is for line okay that's how to achieve that and then if you click on escape uh, it will just go off okay mm, as simple as that if you type f2 uh, it helps you to specify a distance so uh the thing is it's just as much as it's very very easy just like what we did here okay uh let me take you through automatic slab so let's come to my plan view story one um, come here and i'll click on story one yes we are here now i'll use filter uh i'll deselect everything and i'll select my slab and i'll highlight all the panels now um set slab types automatically now like you know um let's let me click on just this slab and see what is happening here okay now i have selected this panel if i come to the property of this panel let me bring this this way you can see this is telling you that this panel is actually at type one okay uh, which is telling you that this panel is actually uh, is discontinuous in all the edges is discontinuous here discontinuous here so in order for you to um, because fixing all of these panels in their right types is going to be very 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 time consuming so um, when you set slab types it helps you to automatically position all the panels in their right positions where you have this panel now uh, is supposed to be a uh, it's supposed to be two edges discontinuous and then two edges continuous uh, let's look at that let's come to the property of this panel if i'm supposed to position this panel it should look more like this okay it has two edges that are discontinuous and two edges are actually continuous so by right this panel is supposed to be uh, slab type 4 okay 
um so but the other way around when you rotate it okay because this is telling you where it is shaded that it is continuous at that edge while this other edge that is not shaded is telling you that is actually uh, discontinuous so it's continuous at the shaded part at the part side that is not shaded it's telling you that is actually uh, what am I saying it is continuous at the shaded part I'm sorry please it is continuous at the shaded part it is now discontinuous at the part that is not shaded okay so that is what it means so all you need to do is to but in order for you to not in order for you not to go through this entire stress all you need to do is just to highlight all your panels and then come to set slab types and then apply to selected slab only or because i have selected these are all the slabs but i have highlighted all of them or i can apply to slabs in the story because i can either pick this or slab in the model if i say apply to all slab in the model it's going to apply even with the slabs that are actually at the roof level okay so but let's say i want to apply to selected slabs only so once you do that now it's giving you all the list of your panels that you have here okay so these are the specified slabs good now you can see so slab one story one the type is four slab one story two is type three slab one story what am i saying slab story one slab one story one slab two story one slab three story one slab four story one slab five all of these are actually story one if i click on ok now it will readjust all of this and place these panels according to their types so it spares you the stress of arranging all of these slabs in their types okay so if we come to each of these panel by the time you click on them and you go to the property you can see this panel here now has just one edge that is actually discontinuous but it continues here it continues here and it also continues here but at this point now this place is outside so this is actually one edge discontinuous so we have three edges here that are continuous and then one of the edge is what discontinuous so let's see if this thing has actually placed our slabs in its right position perfect you can see it discontinuous at the three edges one two uh, it continues at the three edges sorry one two three but it's actually discontinuous at one of the edge which is telling us that this is actually slab type three which is perfectly correct okay so if you look at this at this place we have three edges that are discontinuous it discontinues here discontinues here and discontinues here but it continues at this point so if we click on this slab now and then we come under the property let's see where it positions this it's telling us this is slab type 8 which is perfectly correct you can see it continues at this edge but it's actually discontinuous at the three edges so this is one edge discontinuous three edges one edge three edges discontinuous one edge continuous or one edge continuous three edges discontinuous so that is what it actually means amazing right it's very very great i think they have done a good whole lot of uh, great things in this and then um still on this lab um you are going to see some of the slab it has this slab uh, loadings okay uh, if you come to slab additional loadings you can see for your flat roof for your roof for your terrace for your lower slab so you can add these loadings to your slab okay so let's say you are this slab now is for rooms okay now you can see all the list of uh, your load ceiling grout finishing concrete mosaic tiles okay all of this you can actually edit this and you can actually change what you have here based on the material you feel that will be used on the site okay so based on the material you feel will be used on the site
because you know when you are designing for example let's say we are designing this particular panel if you come to the property of this panel right now and then uh, if you come under the loading of this panel all you need to do is to select uh, under your your life load what type of uh, slab this slab is it for is it in an in a hospital is it in a communal kitchen is it a balcony so whatever choice you are making there you need to know uh, the materials that or probably that is proposed to be used in that particular site so when you come to your slab additional loads here you can actually edit select add whatever loadings that you want to add to this okay so that is that but these are all the materials that are here by default but there are some other materials that may probably not be captured here you can come here and add you can decide to add a new load and then you pick in or impute those particular materials that may be required in your site if you love what you are seeing just like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos I post videos like this on a weekly, sometimes on a daily, just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper inside of design, okay? Make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed.